Day three of our trip and our second full day of hunting started out with really high hopes. After the encounters we had the day before, we had a game plan to get on top of the bulls that we had been hearing in the basins up above us. We made a plan, played the wind right, and it didn't take long until we had elk in front of us with our bows in our hand. We initially thought this was a cow that came into our calls and set up, but upon further review of the film, we actually believe it might have been a bull calf. We were both wondering if Preston was going to shoot, we didn't fault him for it, and we let him stay up at the bat to look for a bull to come into our calls later that afternoon. The bulls on McLovin. McLovin. Yeah, yeah. McLovin, McLovin drainage. McLovin. We need yeah. it, McLovin. He's down here a couple hundred yards. We're gonna slip down and see if we can't get him talking. He started over here, way, way down. And we came back because there's another bull down here, right on the spine of the 
us, Nick Love and Drainage. And he hammered us. He answered everything we threw at him. Every single time. And we stopped and he kept answering and he's stopped since, but we had to get water. We're the only drainage that has water in the whole freaking unit in Idaho. It's dry. <laughs> Fill it up. It's one o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock. We've been up. Bugles since 7.30. Yeah. Chasing. The one we set up on, we had a cow come in. Did you film? Did you get it on film? We had that cow come in and we had the bull below us crashing. We don't need to shut up. We don't know why. So now we're over in this one. We just found a drainage that's at like... We'll say it's between, like ten thousand. We'll say it's between eight thousand and ten thousand. Yeah. And it's high. <laughs> but it looks really nice. That's probably that's probably a two thousand acre piece and three thousand acre. Yeah. There's gotta be a big mule deer buck up in there. Oh, there's gotta be yeah, a there's some, there's some big And the water we just hit had old mossy horn. Giant four foot paths coming off every single one of these burnouts right down into the water. So we're down camping in the bottom of these drainages, there's no water in any of them. We're like, what are they doing? Well, we just found it. Except for we're God, we're 8,000, it's way past us. Yeah. So, that's for another day. Maybe tonight, I don't know. Let's just get on this bowl, kill this thing, get the hell out of here. Let's do it. That has to have out, but where we bugled from, they would never hear us. We would never hear yeah, them. No. Uh, I mean, that, that doesn't look too bad right on the backside. No. This, this you know we could call that from right here at the top of the bar. We are. Maybe you want to skirt up a little bit. No, I meant, well, I mean, if you want to call up to there, sure. We're already here. I mean, thermals aren't the greatest. No. We keep going. I mean, but if you want to throw calls up to there, I we just don't go. want to mess with you. Right, we can go, that's fine. That's, you know, that's a, Let's that's get a the whole day. Let's get
I wasn't even down. didn't know because ninety percent of the time they cut back. Yeah. You know, and he started Dude, running he would, this way, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" If you'd have turned, we'd have been in really good shape because we'd have watched him the whole way. Yeah. Plus the walk, that terrain over there is so easy to walk on. It's like fun. Well, and this it, is I the mean, steepest shit we've been on the whole. Well, life. and it's so hard to see blood in this. Those rocks and everything. It, There's they red look, everywhere. Yeah. So. But sage, however, yes, you will see some blood on some sage. That's for what sure. worries me. But there wasn't a lot of it right here. I'm gonna show you where I think he went. You have those sticks there, right? Yeah. We just we gotta find that arrow. It has to come out of one off a tree. Yeah. My fear is it whacks and spins 50 yards down the hill, but it's pink. I mean, it should stick it's out. Good work, go slow and bino. You know? Yeah. Totally, it's, it's the best chance we got. I'd be hard pressed to think he crested that. I don't think he even crested non, that. I think even he even non-fatal, I feel like going up over that makes no sense. Yeah. That's a dungeon. He that's, could be down in there forever. So like, uh, same toe hole right there. It's the worst part of the whole property. Dude, this is the worst thing I've seen since we've been in. Hands down. That's what is that? Probably twenty degrees. <laughs> more than that. I'd say more than that. <laughs> like I do. That's, that's I did like forty. I did a fifteen degree incline on the treadmill. It was like this. It gets, <laughs> yeah, it gets worse. That's, that's, it gets worse around bad. the knob. So. I think it's been long enough. I think we can go and try and figure it out. <sighs> so, it's three o'clock. Preston got a shot at a nice five point oh, about an hour ago. Uh, we reviewed the footage looked a little high and forward uh, we walked about a hundred yards haven't found blood yet so we waited an hour ate some lunch um, I don't think he's feeling too good right now uh, just because you know when you make an uncertain shot it's like the worst feeling in the bottom of your stomach I know I've been there everybody's been there if you've bow hunted long enough so we're gonna start to grit out search look for his arrow um, but it's debatable you know as to whether or not this is a fatal shot it looked high and forward now it could be and that's why we're gonna make a hundred percent effort um, you know everybody can make a bad shot but it's up to you to make sure that you're out there making a hundred percent effort at recovery um, if we don't find any blood you know that could be a good sign it could be you know no problem doing well but if we start to find blood we're gonna have to work even harder so this is us day two we're going to look Day number two. Uh, hiking off the mountain. Still got a little bit of light. Oh, my feet are killing me. 
I am not not used to tripping in the sagebrush and uh, these Idaho mountains. So, a little bit of a sour note. Uh, we looked for Preston's bull for four hours, and we tracked him on, I think, about a cup and a half full of blood. Um, looked, looked, looked. Gave 100% effort. The blood petered out, and um, we had to come up the mountain and started getting dark. So tomorrow is a new day. Uh, we'll review the footage, you know, when we get home on a bigger screen, but it looked like his shot was forward of the onside shoulder um, and just a little bit of muscle blood. So pretty disappointing, but we got a lot of time left in here. So our fingers are crossed. We've had a great first two days in terms of how many elk we're seeing. And it is beautiful country and the weather is great. So there's a lot of things to be said. Tomorrow afternoon we'll be packing out and restocking on food because we only brought three days in thinking that uh, we would bail if we weren't seeing much. We didn't want to have to pack in all the weight. So we're gonna go get the rest of our food. This spot's been pretty good. McLovin Creek, that's what we're calling it. <laughs>